Good day, everyone. Thanks for joining us here in the charts to tune into the Market Beast edition. Yes, it is your fellow compadre speaking. Today, we'll be exploring Tesla along with uh, Neo. So this would be just two and one today. I just want to go over just kind of a recap of the market sniper, quote unquote, uh, positions as I've entered and exit the markets in both uh, symbols, instruments, whichever one you want to refer to it as. So we're going to go over that and make it short. So welcome in if you're new. Lord subscribers, welcome back. The YouTube algorithm is promoting well due to your engagement. Thank you for that. So let's go ahead and dive right into the charts here, shall we? All right. So today's March the 1st, 2021, and the current price of Tesla is going to be $713.86. It's up approximately 5.6% for the day. And obviously, we'll be starting with Tesla. Let's go ahead and reveal the lines. That's it. Really simple. So this is the uh, the potential bull flag. Well, it's not obviously not a bull flag here. It broke to the downside. Uh, the flag or the pattern. We're going to focus on the pattern because it did break down to the downside. I think we nailed the call as far as it going down to $655. It, actually, the buyers stepped in. Uh, if you notice, these are the weekly candles. And it can be represented at this. Uh, if you see this wick down here, wicks represent buying interest in the market. Okay, So that's why it appears that the buyers are stepping in. So what I'm looking for next is for it to go back up to the previous level of resistance. For those of you who follow me closely, no, that's all I look for. Nothing else, no news or anything like that. And the previous level of support can be identified as this descending line below this pattern. I don't know if you can actually see that. You see that little descending line there? So I'm going to speculatively say that it will likely act as a reaction. Whether it's resistance or not, obviously the price action will determine that in due time here. So where's that line, let me ask? It's right here at um, $764. So let's call it like $750. We should see Tesla to and possibly through that level, at least a test, I'm gonna say over the next week or two. So let's say between now and March the 8th, even as far as March the 15th, 2021. I'd love to see it get back within this range and just kind of break above this area because obviously the sellers have stepped into the market, right? So the buyers, their obligation is to break back above within this area and just, just show a very aggressive bullish counter move. So let's do this. I'm gonna measure at the highest point that I can uh, measure here on this week, January the 25th, 2021, which can be a price at $900 and like 40 cents. And then I'll just go ahead and measure the lowest point that we can measure from this recent move down okay so that's going to be at 619 dollars so this is just measure how much of a percentage decline has experienced in the market here of the short period of time so it's been 31 percent. that's actually a really good uh healthy correction in a overall uptrend tesla's in a very aggressive uptrend if we haven't uh went over that for those of you who follow us you know we've we've gone over that a few times so what i'd like to see uh, the buyers in this market do is make a bullish a counter move, but very aggressive. So I like to see a minimum of the same amount that it went down. What does that mean? Like 31% down. So let's just say it goes up uh, like 31%. So already, let's see, 31% would be right here at $814. To, so to show an equivalent amount of strength. I know this is, this is kind of weird or something like, dude, you're not making any sense. But all I'm doing is measuring how much it went down in comparison to how much it needs to go up to show the, that the buyers do have an, uh, an equal amount of strength in this market. But even if they push it up to $814, that would be a lower high if it gets stopped out at that level. So they really need to crank this up and make a much more aggressive move, preferably above this resistance line that the price action has been fighting with. Let me just kind of back this out because this is the highest level in Tesla. And let me just kind of put a line here so I can, I guess, make sense of it, right? Just put a line, something like that. And then I'll make that red for, uh, I guess, bearish friendly, right? So essentially what Tesla is up against right now, I can even erase this line right here, is this descending resistance line. So it's important for Tesla to get above this line and con continue the overall trajectory, which is currently to the upside, right? I think we could all agree Tesla is in a very aggressive uptrend. So if it gets above this red line, the only line that's holding it back right now, because again, this is the highest point. I mean, I can't make that up. That's the only level descending line as far as the most recent price action that I can verify. This is the only line that's holding the price down. So let's just say, let's just take it from this week. Um, I'm not sure if it is going to happen this week. If it does, that means Tesla has some very bullish strength that I didn't think it would have. Um, if it goes up to this red line and it breaks through, that line is currently at $855. I think that's approximately where we were on the last video saying that it needed to get above. It didn't do that. So 
Here's your chance, Tesla Bulls. You guys have to make a move in this market. Very aggressive. Let's just say it happens next week. I think it's probably going to go down in increments of $5. Yeah, because right now it's going to be at uh, five, 851. So it's like increments of four. Let's see. 845 so yeah like increments of approximately five dollars the longer it takes every week because these are weekly candles so right now this week again we're up against an 855 dollar tesla breakthrough is necessary in order to show some true strength in this market hopefully that makes sense um, but if i had to give you my speculative um observation and what i think could take place at a at a minimum price target overhead i'd say 750 dollars i don't see why that would be an issue let's do a really quick measurement from the current level up to 750 dollars uh, that's about 5.6 percent not a huge call right but in terms of how i look at price action and you know my little squiggly lines i can see that potentially taking place over the next two weeks let's move on over to neo see if we have any information for neo so i know i've been pretty harsh on neo uh, just saying like the poop emojis and stuff. We're not going to do any more poop emojis, guys. But it appears that it has broken down below that range. Um, where we were saying that the price was just kind of stuck within this ascending channel here, right? Find a support, resistance, and it had a successful... See, this is the warning sign for me, okay? So that's what's it's important for everyone to know that, you know, I, I don't pay attention to the fundamentals, guys. The technical. The technical weekly candle broke down below this line. And this was the warning sign for me. I think it was like 48 hours before the weekly close. Once I seen that, I was like, yeah, I'm out of here. I'm not staying in NEO. And I got out of NEO. And I'm potentially looking for a long position in NEO. Um, as far as how high can NEO go? I, I think I did some technical research to suggest that it could get as high as $54, okay? So if that were to take place, that wouldn't be out of the ordinary for me because it's a really nasty move to the downside of, as far as how high that would be and corresponding to a percentage that's 8.7% from the current level approximately. And let's just do the same thing that we did with Tesla. See how high it was. Like, uh, let's see, the highest point on, on, on NEO is going to be at uh, like 66.95 three approximately and then we'll measure it on to the lowest level that it uh, had a retracement which is at like 41 dollars. so we'll do the same thing we'll just measure it on down i feel like there's so many lines you can't really see what i'm doing here so so neo experienced a much more severe retracement which was at like 37 percent to the downside okay so at essentially what i need to see is the same thing that i'm looking for with tesla um if neo wants to make a bullish counter move to uh, show the sellers in the market that just stepped in that hey you need to back off this price we have control of this market i, I need to see at least a 37 percent move to the upside minimum and i'm pretty sure that's going to make it a lower high and what do you know it's right there at that level that i've been talking about 57 dollars that's the first level that I needed to see it get above in order to continue this overall trajectory. Neo is also in an overall uptrend that we've already verified on previous videos. But uh, yeah, the first level for me, $57. Um, that would be the minimum move in this market in order to show the sellers who just recently stepped in at near the $66 level that the buyers truly want to maintain this overall trajectory to the upside. They truly need to get the price above $57 and actually do that in a short period of time excuse me, in order for me to be convinced that the buyers are truly not backing down off this price and they're ready to continue the overall trend to the upside. So yeah, hopefully you have that level is $57 and i'd say over the course let's give the price action like two to three weeks for both for tesla and for neo hopefully i'll leave a give you you know get a re revisit back in the charts if it's continuing to thrust to the upside and uh, if it has met the levels the minimum requirements that we went over 54 for neo and i think tesla was like 750 i said okay if they meet their minimum requirements we'll go ahead and stop back in i think before we close it out here hopefully this isn't like a long video i just want to do this really quickly so we have the lowest point and i do want to do the same thing this descending line of potential resistance well i mean it's pretty obvious here according to the weekly candles that this is a, going to be an interesting line if the price gets back uh, to that level and let's just go ahead and see where that level is assuming that it's going to continue higher this week that's going to be at like 58 dollars okay and then in the next week is going to be 57 so in increments of three dollars the longer it takes we every week from the current level assuming that it stays in that relative range in the uh, $50 level in uh, NEO. So that's all I have for you wonderful folks. Hopefully this was useful information. Hopefully we're all on the same page 
in terms of where the prices can go up in, in a minimum case scenario um, in the level that it needs to get above in terms of uh, breaking through the overhead resistance. So, yeah, we'll, we'll give it a revisit, guys. So thank you for your time. We'll cut it out. Leave an appropriate thumb just below the video there if you enjoy the content. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know if you are invested in these stocks and if you're still bullish. I know there's a lot of neo bulls that probably don't like me, but that's fine, guys. I'm just giving you the technicals. I'm just a technical guy, okay? Also, before you go, if you're new, we cover the alternative markets. If you're into Bitcoin and all coins, subscribe with us. We cover that throughout the week. We'll send you that when it's available. We cover everything. Yes, good out we go. Hopefully, you guys are doing well out there. Take care of yourselves. Protect your portfolios. We're going to talk very soon. And bye for now.